you tell us about yourself? Why don't you tell us about yourself and what you have to uh, talk about in terms of disclosure? Well, let's talk about who I am in relation to disclosure, because we're such a multifaceted people, all right? About disclosure, I have been a relationship therapist and I've been regressing people into their past since the 1960s. No, that's a long time. And it's all been about disclosure. It's like, what was hidden that was causing such extreme pain today that needed to be resolved and dealt with? Well, let me tell you, in relationships, good Lord, especially if they didn't feel safe with each other, they had so many things they hid from each other until finally they just blew up. So a lot of relationship counseling was helping people in a safe environment bring up things that they had hidden from each other. All right, But I have to tell you, you have to be ready to deal with what you find if you say, I want disclosure. Now the same with an individual when I regress them into their past. We start off going for past life regressions, past life existences. But to get there, we almost always would go through things in this life that they had just blanked out. They didn't even know. Some had been raped. Some had honestly extreme cases had been there when somebody was killed in front of them. There was extreme cases, but a lot was just abuse that they didn't remember. Okay. Past life existences, oh my God. <laughs> wow. To just get there, because we had been blanked out, so many of us been blanked out at birth, is like getting through that cords and stuff and getting to the past. A lot of people weren't even from here, but their existences in the story was the same. So, the key to all of this is, if you disclose and you say, I want to know everything. Number one, we are going to get to know everything because we're in the Aquarian Age. And the Aquarian Age promises us there's nothing that we won't know by the end. However, the Aquarian Age didn't start in earnest until 1994, right? And it's going to last for a couple thousand years. So you want to make sure that you're ready for disclosure and how much. There's already so much happening on the planet, and it depends on who you are as to how much disclosure you've already been running into. I mean, a lot of us know about UFOs. A lot of us know about things, and others don't because they're not ready. See, so that's number one. But let's say you do find out things and they're very painful, <laughs> like, wow! Well, here's what I would say. Number one, the other person or persons, if you can disassociate yourself somewhat and go, wait a minute, am I going to take this so personal or is this the other person's lesson? And I would tell you, it is the other person's journey. They may be being a villain. They may enjoy hurting. A good person, when they bring up that they have hurt somebody, they always feel guilty and remorseful and things. But a villain does not. I have to tell you, as they were justified in hurting you. It's like, wow, finally you got what you deserve. See, I can't say they're total villain, but they're at that point, they were in the villain part of their personality. Well, all I can tell you is forgive them. It's like, it's almost like forgive them for being at that step in the journey, right? Because we do go through victim, villain, hero. That's the evolution. And they're not at hero yet, or they wouldn't have hurt you. Do you have a tip about how you do that, Lloyd? about how you do what? Work out this pain. Do you make a list of things? I mean, how would you do this? Well, what I would start with is before you go to disclosure, right? I would make a list right now of what you already know. You've already been hurt lots of times and you know about it, right? You also, whether you like it or not, have hurt lots of people yourself. 
I'd make two separate lists. Okay? All right? These are people I'm going to need to forgive. And boy, sometimes you go, forgive them are you serious? I can't forget. <laughs> I'm, I can never forget. I can't forget. Well, you can if you bring yourself back and you say, that is another person. That's not me. They have their own journey. You can feel sorry for them. You can feel pity. You can, uh, then that'll lead you to compassion. And then finally you can forgive. Now, then here comes the piece. You have to forgive yourself for being with that person and in that situation. I mean, who were you, how naive were you to have never seen all of the signs that were there to see and to feel, okay? So, forgive yourself, okay? Now, that's in the same situation. Then there is another set of just where you hurt people, where you have thought you were justified and you were in blame, and yes, I'm going to get them, all right? then that's your journey and you have to forgive yourself. Also, it's very good at this point, I think, to look and see, okay, if you really forgive the other person and you forgive you, you're moving off of karma. You don't have to do eye for an eye or amends or things like that. But if you really can't, because see, that's from the heart, that's a connection. If you can't, then know that you're going to have to repeat a very similar pain and it may be stronger this time at least that's my experience of watching i went oh my god they got out of this relationship but they didn't learn they couldn't forgive they were still blamed and they had to go through the same thing again all right so if you're ready for disclosure and you want disclosure that means revealing things and i promise you there's going to be some things in there where you were hurt Make sure you can forgive what you already know about other people and yourself, and then you're ready. Namaste.